Coming up next is the UFC welterweight division matchup. The strikers in this division, sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks Spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, it's most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC local weight division. Introducing folks, fighting! Out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, the Warrior. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect we'll yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five to And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of this. Now he's got the Muay Thai clock. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range, he'll, he'll change his stance. Gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Nice one-two there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. He's 
throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just missed with the left there. Lee gets hit by that kick to the body. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Can't take many of those, you better check. Looping left hand misses the target. There by Lee. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Three minutes now to go in this one. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Let him go. Trying to let those. Got clip with the right hand. Kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Going orthodox now. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, big head kick there. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, you can feel the breeze there, swinging a miss by Lee. He loaded up that right hand. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose just getting beat up, kick bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it, it's nasty. Also, the taller fighter lands in knee yet again. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Right punches there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He's really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder round. Winding down here. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Hey, stop! All right, listen. You're looking great. You're winning this fight everywhere. This round, I want you to control the fight on the ground. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, next round is underway, and I think my biggest takeaway in the previous round, his ability to avoid shots, right? It seemed like every time his opponent loaded up, by the time the strike got there, he was out of harm's way. And it was a very minimal movement. It wasn't a big movement off the center line. The opponent threw. It was maybe two inches off to the right that allowed him to be out of position from his opponent's punch, but still in position to return a strike of his own. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all.
big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Kick to the body by Lee. Right hand on point. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Real quick leg kick. Land. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Beautiful punch. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Lee gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice placement there on the left hook counter. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Beautiful body kick. He missed with that jab attempt there. Ooh, big shot land. Oh, massive kick. Everything behind him. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. Look at a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right to the chin, too. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. And they separate. Nice head kick. Blocks the shot. There's no give on that leg kick. Big straight left. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a beautiful strike like that lead with? We'll see very shortly. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Sneaky head kick. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Big and kick. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Big head kick. Nice loop and punch. Oh, nice jab to the dome by Luke. Another strike to the head man. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, 
until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, here we go. As our next round gets underway, his strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here. In he doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Lee's shot there is blocked. Trying to kick the leg out. And they separate. Great punch. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Big body kick lands. Oh, blocks the shot. And he landed the right hand there. caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Oh, that right hand is on point. Pretty good right hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Just over three minutes to go. Big kick land. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Liver kick. Until he blocks it, you better keep throwing those body kicks. Lee's punch to the body looked pretty good, but ultimately it gets blocked by the defense. Nice job there. All right, single collar tie now. Nice punch land over the top. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Nice kick. Oh, looked like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Leg kick. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? He's gotta be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Get the plan exactly where you want. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish off because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Going for the spinning side kick to the body, but he missed. It's a big knee! Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Ooh, what a punch. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. Big body kick. Oh, 
he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rates, stamina still very high, and you just have to log the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. And they set. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Finds a home for that left hook. Oh, big left hook there. Just missed on that spinning attack. Spinning back fist. Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Big head kick lands. Three minutes to go. Nice punch by Lee. Big head kick lands. Whoa, whoa. Over the top. This fight's gonna be over. This. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, but he's going low. And now he's got to hurt very badly. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the bottom. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. How about that shin? All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming. But until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice straight punch. Just misses there with the left. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure He's not taking those damaging strikes up top. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Visibly limping here. Real nice body kick. Missed with that attempt. Nice sneaky head kick. Right hand upstairs. 
Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. 45 seconds remain in the round. Right under the elbow, body keep landing. Let's go, let's get that tape. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Liver kick. You take those kicks, you're going to shut your body off. And he's back up. And they separate. Way to hide that leg. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Nicely done. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Lee. What a body kick. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He got the kick. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh, big punch lands. Nice body kick right on the elbow. Landed that left hook. Winded up on the right there to no avail. Powerful leg kick lands. Lee going for the body, missed with that kick. Lands flush with that right hand. Big leg kick lands. Just misses with the jab there. Nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big kick lands. Throws the right hand there. Nice punch there by Lee. Not there. Unable to land the head kick there. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You got to just start letting everything fly. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. 
90 seconds and counting to go in the fight. Good punch. Inside leg kick lands and immediately a mark on his opponent. Plus right hand is true. That was a thudding leg kick. Slips the shot. Just out of range with that right hook. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight. So as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. Playing the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, so there he is. The celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. You've got to feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight and getting a victory. He needs to be very proud of his performance tonight. I'm on top of the ball.